Hey guys, how's it going? Antonin here. Uh, we're back this week with a brand new tasting. Uh, sorry I'm a little bit late on posting uh, this video here, but I'm gonna try to make up for it right now. Let's get into this tasting. So I actually put out a poll for those not actually following and keeping up with my uh, Instagram slash Facebook posts about what you would like to see, because I, I definitely wanted to focus on Austrian wine, whites or reds. Whites, which was uh, Riesling 2016 from Schloss Gobelsburg, a single vineyard, or a red from Bugenland. What I'm gonna review for you right now, which is what people, actually most people wanted to see, was a red. So this is actually, um, I'm gonna present it to you. So Blau Frankisch Esterazzi, um, so 2016, uh, from uh, Leithenburg DAC, so Birkenland. So uh, the one great region in Austria are located over on the east side, uh, which is, if you look at it, it's kind of a stripe that goes uh, north and south uh, on the east side of the country. That's where most wine growing regions can be found. And so as far as Blau Frankish goes, uh, it ha kind of has a long history for, being, for having been grown in Austria, and especially doing well in Bergenland. So Bergenland is kind of in the middle of uh, the wine growing area, and it's known especially for doing very well in those sort of deep, poor granite soils. Leithenburg is sort of a sub area for producing a little more sturdy, full bodied styles of La Funkish. But anyways, let's get to uh, the tasting. So if you look at the color, it's sort of a lighter to dark, lighter ruby with uh, purple hue, glossy, nice glossy color. I think you can see very well in the camera. On the nose, I have a really pretty nose here. So Noses, for those of you familiar, I think, um, with Chianti Classico, for the Sangiovese base from Chianti Classico, or the Gamay base wines coming out of the Beaujolais, I think this definitely hit those marks. I get this sort of really pretty strawberry, black cherry nose to it with a little bit of that sort of undergrowth, potpourri, um, earthy tone to it. Really, really pretty, really perfumey on the palate. This is a little bit coating. I get sort of the same, a lot of the same aroma as I got on the nose. Earthy tone, really pretty fruits, pretty, I'd say both black to red fruit. A little bit of that thick jam um, action. Dry leaves. Yeah, high acidity, so, so supported the backbone. I think it's really cool wine. I mean, I bought this in the 20, 25 euro price range. So I think which is really affordable. You can find, because that's the thing with Blau Flankish, you can find any types of style, which is something great. I definitely recommend being on the lookout for this specific bottling here. Uh, they also produce other single vineyards, also um, for focusing on other grapes as well. But Birkenland is definitely known for the reds. Anyways, uh, thanks for sticking around this week again for this week's review. And uh, I will see you next week. And we'll wind this up again. Hope you can enjoy the scenery here and uh, have a good week, folks. Bye.